Hello, it's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we are here to talk about verifying patterns. We spent some time finding patterns and using tables and diagrams to find patterns, but we're going to verify today. So let's get us back up to speed for this particular problem. You know that we have tables and we have chairs and we had this table, 1, 6, 2, 10, 3, 14, and 4, 18. So it kept going up in fours. Right. We saw that it was up by four. First difference of fours. And then we were able to come up with the formula C is equal to 4T plus 2. Okay, so that's where we were able to get to. Now, we need to verify this, to verify our formula. Okay. From the table, you can notice that we used up to 4 to establish our pattern and our formula. So if we're going to verify, we cannot use 4. And we have to get to verify, we have to do it two ways. We have to do it basically by the pattern or by from the descriptions, and then we also have to do it by formula. So we're going to do it by pattern, or rather, in this case, diagram. And then we're also going to do it by formula. Okay. So we're making sure we get the same result. You need to, I mean, you can do a little bit of, make sure that your rule works for the first four to start with, mm -hmm. but I think you can do that mentally, right? But then these are the two that you're going to show nice and clearly. Right. So let's try t equal to five. So by my diagrams, if I make five tables, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, five tables, I have all these people, chairs around the table, and... Can you count all those dots for me, Mr. Cole? Okay, so what have we got there? We've got 10, and then another 10, so we've got 22. So there are chairs, there's 22 chairs just by counting the dots. If we go by formula, C is equal to 4 times 5 plus 2, which Three. is 22. We've checked the formula two ways, by the diagram and by formula. we verified it for T equals 5. Okay, you need to put in there, yeah, show... These are the same. Yeah. These are the same. Okay, so we've verified once. Verified once for t equal to 5. Okay, now let's do t equal to 6. Just make sure our formula really works nicely. I'm going to make six tables. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I got seven tables there. Let's make six tables. So I got one on the end, two people on each table on this side. It actually doesn't matter which, what you do it with, right? So if you've already used the first six to find your formula, you could do it with the 10th and the 11th or the 12th and the 15th, right. as long as you try it with two. Obviously, right. the bigger the number you do, the the more counting you've got to do and um, the more likely you are to make a mistake. Right. And so we use t equals 6, but we could use any value. And so if I count all these up, I got 12 here, plus 12 is 24, plus 2 more, I get 26 chairs. Now by formula, I know it's c is equal to, t oh, sorry, c is equal to 4 times my 6 tables plus 2 which is 24. Oh, plus, plus two. two, thank yeah. you, is 26. And so now, again, I've checked it by diagram. I've checked it by formula. It is verified. And really make sure that they are the same. So if you've counted it and you don't get the same number, go and count them again. If they're, if they're not the same, then, then either your formula's wrong or you've, you've counted them incorrectly. Right, and so most of your tasks now, if you can do all of that successfully, you are up to a B6. To get into the sevens or eights, you have to what we call justify, which is forthcoming on another podcast. Look forward to that one. <laughs>